blessing us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, <coughs> why do we exist as a ministry? To do what are we doing here, by the way? Where we are going to get 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 why, 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 why do we exist? What, what are we doing? What, what, what is our purpose? What, what are we doing here? Glory to God. Who, who can give me an answer? Where's my wallet? Praise the Lord. Yes, yes, Jemba. Yeah, glory to God. Hallelujah. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you forget anything, the purpose that we are here, the purpose that we exist, is to make sure that people actually come into what? The kingdom of God. Kakati, maybe you're not just to make sure, as in the language may be, maybe, you know, people who speak Christianese, the language may be in Christianese. Do you know Christianese? Yeah? Christianese, you speak in a Christian language, it's just your group of Christians that will understand you. When you start saying the action of the, of the function is which be chikwe gamba, atali mu la mu ka group ka inzo uta tegela. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so, brothers, when you're speaking to a sister, please don't speak Christianese. Beda kiria. Praise the Lord. Beda chi? Bera kiria ututu akuwa orusi mwe kwe kama Christianizi no no not anku kurete vintu not anku bire tamu kuingi James kwe gamba behold the Lord leadeth me to and draweth my heart to close to thine mugambe sister anku agala aku aku gachi kuo eido kabo bosa nyuke praise the Lord Hallelujah but anyway so just to eliminate the Christianiz when we said to bring people into the kingdom to chetu tegezanti abantu balokoke. Praise the Lord. People need to get born again. And we are here to make sure that people get born again. That is what we were sent to do. That is what we were sent what? To do. So as long as you're still here on earth, you need to ask yourself that in everything that I'm doing, how is the end result people getting born again? I made radical statements that I will make a, again that, you know, Jesus said that, you know, uh, all power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and make disciples. Go ye therefore and do what? Of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to obey, to observe, to do all things whatsoever I have commanded you. So he says, all power is given me. Then he says, go ye therefore. In other words, go ye therefore means go ye because of this. Because of what? Because of what? Because of what? He says, all power is given unto me. Go ye therefore. In other words, the reason he's sending you forth is because there is power that has, made, has been made available. So power has been made available. That is why he sends you. And why is he, why is he sending you? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Why is he sending you with his power? So that you make disciples of all nations. So the radical statement I made, every time I think about it, I even think it's not radical. It, is, it should be obvious. That if you have been given the power of the Lord Jesus Christ and you're using it for anything else that is not leading to the making of disciples, you are abusing power. Stop complaining about government officials, but the officers are abusing power. You are also abusing power. Why? Because he gave you the power and he said, because of this power, go and make disciples. Thank you very much for using the power to make a lot of money. But if that a lot of money is not ending up in making disciples, abuse of power. You are abusing the office. Thank you very much for healing the diseased and, and casting out devils and what and doing all that. If your is not ending up in making disciples, you are abusing power. Because why was the power given to you? So, we cannot as a ministry exist without knowing what is at the forefront of the assignment. Go and make what? Disciples. Disciples. 
You see, sometimes you may wonder why I keep going back, but I want to wear a wira mangu. People forget very quickly. I can come here, I can come here and start saying, by the way, anyway, like, let me not tell you that. I can come here and decide to pray for the sick and do healing miracles and what, what, and you get excited and I echoneta gachikoya service, bid is okay. And before that, I ask you, why do we exist miracles and healing? <laughs> Am I saying those are not good and important? They are very good and they are very important, but they will come in on part B of the question. Glory to God. But part A, bring people in. People need to get born again. Guys, there are certain things that don't happen accidentally. How many of you got saved accidentally? Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Yeah, but you trains are tumbling up with any way sang anger. Eh, I just found myself born again. No. That is why Nemera Kuchin to Chai Evangelism, guys, I'm Kulemera in English is what? That is why I persist. By the way, praise the Lord. Those of you watching me, I know English. Praise the Lord. Eh? Uh, it's just that the people here, yeah. To 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 praise the Lord. So, just to involve them, I ask them for some words. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What's it over there? Persist and insist. Hallelujah. The reason I persist and insist is not because I don't. Glory to God. Does that part it's okay to give echo? Part B. Mm -hmm. We said to bring people into the kingdom. And to help them to what? Yes. There is a, there, there is a, clip, a, a clip that Roger has made. Uh, we even, I posted it on YouTube. Some of you videos that take up on YouTube. Praise the Lord. Mugendayo. Mugendayo. Yeah, there is a clip that, that I put there and I was asking you that. Was, you know that. Uh, do, you, do you know that it's not obvious that everyone that is in the kingdom is actually having a kingdom experience? You, you, you know that it's not obvious, eh? There are many people who are, they are actually in the kingdom. Barokole, they are heaven bound. They are children of God. But they are not having a what? A kingdom experience. Yes, as a ministry, also we have that mandate that you know, we now start the discipling part. That's the part of what? Discipleship. Yeah, that is part of, you know, making sure that, okay, someone has said, Yeah, you can go there. Praise the Lord. Amen. It should not be like that. That is why I'm sure all of you, all of you are, okay. Is there anyone that is not born again? You can get born again right now. Anyone that is not born again in the house? Okay. Okay, at least all of you have indicated that you're born again. Yeah, so all of you have indicated that you're born again, but you're here. I require you to come here on Sunday. Why? Because there are aspects that we need to talk about that we deal with so that we can walk this life in a manner that is kingdom-like. In a manner that is what? How many of you, are, don't put up your hands, how many of you have been frustrated before? Okay, because I told you not to put up your hands. Kari, it's okay. Don't put up your hands. I, I, and, 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 and I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this honestly, praise the Lord. I'm not talking about how many of you have been frustrated with your workplace, what? I'm, talk, I'm talking about with your Christian life. I'm talking about with your Christian expectations. I'm talking about with your Christian journey. I'm talking about with things that you read in the Bible and then you do an assessment in your life. If you're to, you, when you assess the things that you read in a Bible that should be happening in the life of the Christian, and then you assess with your life, no gamba, no am I a Christian? Either am I a Christian or the Bible is telling lies? Okay, don't put up your hands. How many have been frustrated before? Okay, yeah, just laugh if you've been frustrated before. Ah, you see, when I'm say, praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the truth of the matter is, is that time that, that most people have been through, and 
Many people are in that time. Praise the Lord. Many people are in what? In that time. So it is also our duty to make sure that we actually disciple people. The way that the Bible prescribes discipleship. Glory to God. So that we have actually people's lives improving. We don't want to go to... And I know getting born again get, gets you a, a ticket to heaven. You're going to heaven. But we don't want the journey to be very bumpy. To carry on my yes, to say na baba. Praise the Lord. To say na ye. Chiva de chika. Glory to God. Yeah, so that is also our responsibility. Now, I, I want you to notice that I am saying it is our responsibility because some of you are there saying it is your responsibility. You're pointing at me saying it is your responsibility. Praise God. Now, notice I am saying it is our responsibility. Why? Because the discipleship is not being done by me alone. I am overseeing the discipleship in this ministry, but you guys are actually the ones who are going to do the discipleship. How many of you are in a house fellowship somewhere? Somewhere, somewhere, you're in a house fellowship. Glory to God. That is where the discipleship actually takes place. Praise the Lord. That is where what? That is where the discipleship takes place. So anyway. Ay. All right. All those are introductory remarks. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So anyway, uh, that's why, you know, when we call on people... All right, let me, let me, let me say, let me, let me ask you. Um, <coughs> you know that, you know why we exist. Why do we exist? Mm -hmm. well, how, how are we going to achieve that? What do we do? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Say that again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Say that again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But now, you see, we are all, we, we are, say that again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Cut your party, you one. Party, you one. Party, you one. Sumanze, Mzenjakola, party three, praise the Lord. Jacob and Akuchi. Number three, you praise the Lord. Uh, yeah, go out to bring in. Eh? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jacob and Ako disciple, could discipleship. Then on that took a could send out to our now. Now I will go in the arms. So my Jiro Colacho Jiro Lindam or Jiro in Yakuchiza. We are sent out to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. You see. You cannot, you, 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 cannot, you cannot be on one stage and not do the other. All these things work together for good. They work what? Together for good. Together for good. I, I, know you're, you, you, I know you're already thinking about the scripture in, in, in Romans 8. Eh? Yeah? yeah, yeah, it says all things work together for good. All things work together. You know, sometimes you need to understand that it is not one thing that works together, that works alone in isolation. Praise the Lord. And that is where many people have... Will I preach today someone? That is where many people have gotten things wrong because they get one thing in isolation, and not realizing that that one thing is supposed to work with, together with other things so that the good comes. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you, that's why you find people, ha, a chintucha prosperity is about what? Giving. Uh -huh. Yeah, you get the giving. Praise the Lord. Nagama and Zakat, ngenda kuwa yu baneta mwe. Praise the Lord. Ngenda kuwa yu paka wabako lachi? Baneta. And fantastic. Giving is very good. Yeah, fantastic. But you, you know that there are, other, there are other things that are necessary that work together with your giving so that you actually end up working in this abundance that you want. So some people, never, they just get one kind of thing. I have taught. There, there, there are times that I've ta I taught. I remember one time I, I was teaching about prayer. <coughs> how, many, how many of you remember the series I taught on prayer? The series called Prayer Before, During, and After. Prayer before, during, and after. How many were there? How many have heard about something like that? 
before, during, and after. I'm the one teaching it. Ah, yes. I, okay, I think I need to teach these things again. Praise the Lord. I think I need to teach them again because it looks like the majority of the church has not heard of it. But anyway, as I was teaching, I taught the first sermon, the, the very first day. And there was, a, there was a lady who had come. She had come to see me. And uh, she, needed, she needed some... Well, she had come to see me. She had heard on radio, whatever. She, so she came. So she sat in the Bible study and I taught the first, sum, the first part of the series. And she was wowed. She was like, wow. Jesus. Yes. You know those people who you're preaching, uh, they, they, they start shaking. Eh? And they start as if they, are, they, are not, they, are, they can't sit, sit on the chair. She just couldn't believe what she was hearing. At the end of service, she came to me and said, Pastor, I have found my life is sorted. I had come to see you so that you pray for me, though you don't need to. My life is sorted. I have found the missing link in my what? In my life. I was like, wow, that's fantastic. Someone has blessed you that much. She's like, I have found it. I have found it. When I, when I do... I, now, me, I thought that happy as she was, she was going to come back because I was on the introduction. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I was on the what? On the introduction of the subject of prayer. Now, for her, she, when she had the introduction, she didn't know. By the way, that's, why, that's how I am sometimes. Introduction, you can listen to the introduction and you think, ah, the introduction is, 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 an, is a good someone. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. She had the introduction. But now, the problem is, she did not come back. Why? Because she thought she had found the missing link in her life. Ngariku <laughs> introduction, Praise the Lord. Now, when I came back and started teaching about the first part now before, I said, even the, the other people were like, eh, hey, because every, every, every sermon, every part of the series, the people were like, this, this must have been the missing one. This must have been the missing one. This must have been. Then, uh, then at the end of the day, I realized that actually, if you just listen to one part, you can think you have it all. Until you listen to the other, and then you realize that, hey, actually, the other one is not complete without this one. And then I taught the entire sum, but the lady did not come back. She got only the introduction, and she thought she had got it all. Not knowing that there are other parts that are actually important to prayer. And not knowing that even, with, even, even if you had listened to everything alone, prayer alone is not what sorts your entire life. Even prayer, complete as it is, will work together with other things. You, you get what I'm saying? So prayer alone, now there are people who think that they are just going to pray, their, to pray through their life and just say, glory to God. Negative for her, prayer is just one aspect that works together with other things. But even that to just one aspect, she got just the introduction and she... These things work what? together. So don't be among those that get excited. And you know sometimes we have, sometimes we get there <clears throat> you can veil. Praise the Lord. Where was I? You could get in there you not Yes. So Katiabamba Gamba to go out to bring in disciples. Ah, praise the Lord. Keka Jokola, praise the Lord. I cut discipleship. I don't know discipleship. It's not that I'm discipling. Praise the Lord. Zenjaku better one discipling. Praise the Lord. Still, I'm better my equation. Not so. I'm better my equation. You could party three, but on the receiving side. No. No. Guys, let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you a secret. It's not even a secret. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter number four that he, that, that he gave some what? Apostles, uh huh, prophets, uh huh, uh huh. Order, order, don't care about the order to judge you, uh huh. Pastors and what? Teachers for the what? For the perfecting of the saints. You take care. For the perfecting of the saints for the work of ministry. To perfect the saints for the work of what? Ministry. ministry. In other words, guess what? Guess what? You know, uh -huh. fantastic. Verse 11. 
So, so you need to understand this, ladies and gentlemen. This will help you very much. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Uh huh. Why did he give? For the perfecting. Now, perfecting of the saints is to, for the maturity of the saints. <clears throat> for the maturity of the saints. Mukure muve muobuto, praise the Lord. Tap your neighbor and say, Vamobuto. For the perfecting of the saints, for the what? For the work of ministry. In other words, who is going to do the work of ministry? The saints. Now, the misconception is that the pastor was given to do the pastoring work. That the teacher was given to do the teaching work. That the evangelist was given to do the evangelism work. That the prophet was given to do the prophesying work. That the apostle was given to do the, the apostolizing work. Now I'm going to be Zungu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible is saying that these guys were given so that they prepare the saints for the work of ministry. So, I am a teacher. I was given so that I prepare you to teach. So, who is supposed to do the teaching? I... Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot to teach. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The teacher, the prophet, in other words, according to this scripture, the role of the prophet is not to be the, the wow master of prophesying. The role of the prophet is to prepare the saints so that they can prophesy. We, we are together. The role of the teacher is to prepare the, the saints so that they can do what? Teach. The role of the evangelist is to prepare the saints so that they can evangelize. Guys, make no mistake about it. Eh? All of us are supposed to do all of these five. Yes. Someone is saying, hmm? <laughs> All over, listen, doesn't the Bible say that you should be apt to teach in season and out of season you should be ready? Is, is, that, is that talking about the teacher? Or, or everyone? No, no, Munzira Munga with confidence, praise the Lord. Buliom. When Paul was, when, when Paul was talking, well, whoever wrote the book of Hebrews, I'm, I'm still persuaded it was Paul. Some Bible scholars are still fighting about it, praise the Lord. But whoever wrote the book of Hebrews eh, was inspired by the Holy Ghost. So it is safe to say, in, the Holy Ghost was saying in the book of Hebrews that at a time when you ought to be teaching others, you still need to be taught. In other words, the ones that were being taught, it was to the end that they teach others. Are you, are you, are you getting that? Not everyone in the Hebrew church was a teacher, but they, they were being taught so that they can teach others. And there was a time that they were expected that now they should be teaching others. So teaching is not just for the teacher. The teacher is there to prepare the, others, the saints so that they can, be, they can teach in season, out of season, up to teach. The evangelist the evangelist is to prepare you so that you can do the work of evangelism. That is why the Bible says that do the work of a what? Do the work of an evangelist. If they're telling you to do the work of an evangelist, that means you are not an evangelist. But they're telling you do the work of an evangelist. So that is why Jesus didn't only send out evangelists. He, said, he didn't talk to the evangelists and say, go ye into the world and evangelize. He said, go everyone, all of us, go and preach the gospel to all creatures. To how many creatures? Are you still there? So, the work of, the, of evangelizing is for every one of us. Prophesying. Is it only the prophets that prophesy? Absolutely not. The Bible says that I wish that you all spoke with other tongues, but rather that you did what? Prophesy. 
And I teach an entire sermon about that, that just that phrase. Praise the Lord. So he says that the, all of he said that all of us, Paul, Paul, this time it was Paul, praise the Lord. He said that he wants all of us to prophesy. Prophetic, we are all to we are all to prophesy and glory to God. And not everyone that prophesies is a prophet. No, that I've also talked about. Let me not go into that. Praise the Lord. To Sagazai and pastor, apostle. Do you know that all of us have received apostleship? That's what the Bible says. Yeah, that we have received apostleship. All of, find that scripture. So, it is not the apostle. To apostle means, to, you know, to, you, we, that is why Mbagamba Mwenanti, Mwena, you guys are all going to plant, you're, you're going to plant house churches, Zifuke, Zono churches, Zifuke, Mega churches, Zifuke, Chi, Nenga, Ogam, Oria, Onti, Ha, Nenga, Gunonga, Gwe, Tagamo, Obutume, Preza, Gwe, Gwe, Obutume is what? Omutume is who? What is a Mutume? No, no, direct translation. What is a Mutume? How many of you are sent? When Jesus sent that, as the Father sent me, so I send you. He was talking to who? Yeah? Praise the Lord. Scripture jifunye. Jiteke ko. All of us have received. I've forgotten the 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 phrasing. Um, neoge na jifuna. Mm -hmm. mm. By whom Romans one five. By whom we have received grace and apostleship for for obedience to the faith among all nations for His name. We received what? Who, who, who do you think he's talking to? He's talking to the Roman church. There were all the people in the, in the Roman church apostles. But Paul is telling them that we have received grace and apostleship. Tell your neighbor, I've received apostleship. So the work of the apostle is to prepare you so that you operate in this what? Apostleship. So don't tell me when I'm sending you and say that yes, we are going to establish and it's going to happen very soon. It's going to happen very soon. Whether there are few people who move with me, we are going to move and it is going to happen. We are going to plant churches. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor we are going to plant churches. I'm already seeing certain places where Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. But you see, don't tell me when I come to you that you know you need to start a church. And then you tell me, but Pastor, I am not called to start a church. You are not called to. To start a church? You, you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I think you see, and the problem when you tell people that you know you're going to start a church, they think of something maybe like this or a big, even a big. Some of even the pictures you have are bigger than what we have right now. You say that when you're going to start a church, ah, yeah, 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 not under Kukulaba, you start seeing yourself, and, and it's good to see all that stuff, eh? but it doesn't start like that. Katan Chitandi Kampola Ampola, you start seeing yourselves. You, what do you think of when you, see, when you see yourself starting a church? Eh? Thousands of people, hallelujah. Ngabatu de Batu Dawa Bakulins and no Yingira no Kupurpit, no Yingira Ovo, very similar to my job. Glory to God. No ingira enduru enga enduru nezivuga enduru enduru nezivuga. No no kendeza ku speed. Praise the Lord. Overi ngo yangu wano tukano no kendeza ku speed. Na posa atuse. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So there are all those imaginations that you have. Eh? And it's okay. They are not bad to have. Praise the Lord. Because you can't, you, you, you can't walk into what you've not seen. Praise the Lord. So I'm not saying it's bad. It's okay, have those imaginations, but it will not start like that. So when I tell you that you're going to start a, a church, what, at the bare minimum, what I'm saying, that you get a place, call someone, and meet, and you, you, you study the word. Next week, we'll be 
It's not even a guarantee that next week I just beg at Even next week, we will be able In fact, next week, next week, we will be able to do Praise the Lord. Yes. Nego isa inzo obutajia. Katia, that is why you like, no, no, that is why you start saying that really, chine chintu bachi impitida, am I doing the right thing? Because the devil is going to come and whisper in your, guys, let me tell you, if we were to listen to what the devil says, even today we would not be sitting here, because the devil came and whispered those things to me, I know. I know. Yeah, there's no story of Anzibar, you miss a praise the Lord. No, no, that tuchireke, it has always, tuchireke, it has always been glorious, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. But chatandi kachinyuma. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No, it did. It was not. Yeah. Na kola Bible study ngansasuli ngansasuli la holo nene singa ne wano bunene. Praise the Lord. Nengi some samu ngandi mu nzene mu chala wanga. And by then she wasn't even my wife. Aba. We are going to get into the word. And those of you that have been there with me for who 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 anyone alude wenyu. Hawano jemba inzo kuanga ya ya chia sinzo ku. Actually, wano wano. Eh? Josephine, ne jemba ni ya soka. Mwe mwe ba mwe, eh, a esta mupia, esta mupia, eh, nempaji, okay, nempaji, Louis, senga Louis abadeo. Yeah, but those of you that have been there, that have been there from those days, you know. Ngane o tuwe daba vidi, ngane o tuwe rom tuji tu kwata baibo ya fenetu imba wanda full treasure. Praise the Lord. You 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 you, you know. To him be a wonderful treasure. You know, to live a bit. If a coward, to not to him, man, to be a bastard, to him, man, to. Some murals and to a gym, to a to a tank a gym, man, got to use a keyboard. We've been seeing. I've, I was listening to one of. I've, I was listening to one of the messages I preached long time ago. Those are not in Charlie campus. Yeah, you're saying, you're saying you were recording even then? Yes, I knew where I was going. Praise the Lord. Amen. I knew where I was going. So I was preaching on campus. I have a wonderful treasure. <laughs> Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. No, I have a one, one, two, three. No, I have a one. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, I'm, all I'm saying is fantastic. Have all those wonderful images and imaginations. Good. I had them and I still, there are some I still have. Praise the Lord. When I was starting, I know. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Apostleship. We have received what? Apostleship. And then, uh, uh, the work of the pastor, really. You see, the, the work of the pastor is being a shepherd. Really, who, who of you is not called to care for another? Mugamba, ah, you could have it over a praise around the Vampita could have it. What praise around that every Nazar Vampita Korachi Bampita Bampita could have it. What praise around? No, no, no. So the, the work of the pastor, oh, of course, in preparing you, they also be doing it. Praise the Lord. So pastor could have it. But the end result is not just to could have it, but to make sure that they prepare you so that you could have it others. Glory to God. Amen. So that you do the work of ministry. You do the work of ministry. You do the work of ministry. Someone say work of ministry. Amen. So you are, there will be times when you will be expected to teach. There will be times when you will be expected to, to take care of others. Pastoring. Guys, you think I've been being pastor all the time. Then I saw a number of to Munde, Kavia Pasta Munve, come a teacher, praise the Lord, and my wife, Dimuchi. At our summer Satavina, not title, praise the Lord. So people were just calling me Magzing, I'm going to call me Magzi. 
Yeah, you know. Pastor jo 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 but then we say, Pastor Joseph, hallelujah. Am I prophesying? Glory to God. Glory to God. Pastor Joseph. Eh? Sounds good, eh? Ay, hallelujah. So let it be written. <laughs> but you see, if me, for a very long time, in fact, until, until I joined with other people to start another work, another ministry somewhere. That is when I started being called pastor. Otherwise, in my own work of ministry, I, I told people not to call me pastor. Why? This is a Monday. But the truth of the matter is, so I was actually doing the work of the pastor, but I, just, I was just running away from the title. Interesting that I was running away from the, from the title, and yet there were others who were chasing it. Praise the Lord. Others are running after it. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Anyway, I even don't know how I reached these ends. So, eh, to, have, to, to have them, they work together. Eh? All, the, all these things work together. So, when I'm here and I'm talking to you, I am not talking to you as, as sheep that are always just going to be fed. I am talking to you as people who are going to do the work of ministry. Who are going to do the work of what? Ministry. Of ministry. Listen, not in this, in, I don't know whether it happens in other ministries, but here in this ministry, it is not a one man show. I am not here. I am not here to come and say that I am the one who does all the, who performs all the miracles. Abraham, when now you're there to receive miracles. How many want to receive miracles? Touch, receive power. Praise the Lord. If I am, if I walk in the miraculous, it is just because I am supposed to show you how to walk in the what? Miraculous. That is why I've thrown some people in the deep end. Praise the Lord. When people come to me for, 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 for prayer, pray for me, I need a miracle. That minister healing to that one. Praise the Lord. What? And it should be able to work. Listen, unless I have not taught you. You see, the danger is the, the danger is the man of God syndrome, where the man of God, you make them mysterious so that other people think it's very difficult. Yeah? So that when I'm ministering healing, I, I make it sound like at that moment I'm seeing angels around, praise the Lord, to make you think that, now for me, praise the Lord. When, if I'm to minister healing, guys, let me tell you nothing. Most of these things are simple. That is why for me, if I even tell you what I... Anyway, I've told you before, not so. Glory to God. Amen. So that what I can do, you should be able to... In fact, what, what I can do, you can do. Amen. If I do it, you should be able to do it. If you cannot do it, then I've failed my responsibility. <laughs> I've failed my responsibility. Yeah, I know, I know many some of you are there saying, eh, ni msumba goli wakabi, ya, ndi wakabi, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ukubo wakabi, ndi wakabi, praise the Lord. Glory to God. Ukubo wakabi, ndi chi? Ndi wakabi. But I am here to make sure that now, ufuka wachi, wakabi. Glory to God. The, the anointing flows down. So, if you are serving under me, that means the anointing that is flowing from my head is the same anointing that is going to flow down towards you. So that means if I have the anointing to perform miracles, that same anointing should be operating in your what? If it is not operating in your life, that means I've confused you somewhere. I've, made, I've either made you think, either I've not taught you how to operate in the anointing, or I've convinced you that you, that you don't have the anointing, or, or maybe you have just confused yourself and I've not unconfused you. But guys, make no mistake about it. The things, uh, those of you that, those of you that were here on Friday, they were going to be a mwafunye, praise the Lord. Those of you that were here on Friday, were going to be a mwafunye, glory to God.
praise the Lord. Amen. That, that, that should just make it, nga, nga, if, you, nga, you see, if you're seeing it in my life, nga, it is the same thing. And there is no magic, there is no science about it. To prepare saints for the work of ministry. Praise the Lord. Now, do you know, do you realize that we have not yet sung wonderful treasure today? <laughs> Hallelujah. The Tunaimba wonderful treasure. But uh, since it cut in those are those are jimba, praise the Lord. You know those are there, there are times like this where I I honestly prepared a sermon. Very good sermon, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Now here attends is it introduction ikwe gamba. Yeah. Ne to to tundoza to engage in introduction. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So I was I was going to talk about the fact that right now when we reach this part, it led me into the fact that uh uh their responsibility is to equip which version is Njaga Den. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work and build the church, the body of Christ. You see that? So what's the responsibility of the pastor? Prophet, teacher, apostle, evangelist. No. Ah, ah. Ebi obi bimbuza buza. Muri muri mwa bali muhenzu 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 muhenzu. Ndagara tu chusome wano. The answer is very direct. And kwe gamba te muri mukubuza. What is the responsibility of the of the apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, and evangelist? So who is going to do the work of God? Who is going to do the work of God? Who is going to build the church, the body of Christ? Mubere yune muga mantini musumba musumba rachi tazimbe kanisa preza. Jekanisa. Now, do you realize that it is your responsibility to build the church? My responsibility is to equip you. So that you do the work of ministry, so that you build the church. Some of you be thinking that I'm sending you to do my work. <laughs> we have evangelism. We are going to Narumunye. We have what? Pastor Joe was writing. Guys, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me, let me tell you something. And let me be very serious with this one. Many are called. Few are what? Many are called. Few are what? That is a general, a general, a general, it, it, it's a general reality that applies to many things. Even in ministry. There are many that are called, but few that are, are what? That is a sad reality. I've asked you before, and, and, and you see, God is a fair judge. No, let me say that again. God is a just judge. Sometimes justice is not fair. Praise the Lord. Some, sometimes justice is not what? Sometimes justice is not fair. God is not always fair but he's always just. If God was to be fair, we would most probably end up in hell, all of us. Because it is not fair that one guy comes and dies for billions of people. Praise the Lord. Is it fair? Was it fair to Jesus? But Jesus did a very good work. Praise the Lord. I, we, shall talk about, we shall discuss the fairness. But how he, one person dies for all, the rest of all of us, for the rest of humanity, and he pays, that is why you see, anyway, if you're to pay, if you're to pay your, for your sins, it will take you eternity. And even in eternity, you will, not, it, you will not have paid. But Jesus came and died for you, not only for you, but for the entire world. And then he paid our penalty in three days. You're just yeah. joking. Praise the Lord. But is it fair? Maybe not. 
but it is just the penalty was what paid and so fair and fair and just you you study the difference but yeah god is a just god so when he says that many are called and few are chosen it is not random it is not just random that means there are just reasons why some are called i mean uh, some are chosen and the others are not are not chosen but the reality is some are chosen and others are not and no one will be able to stand before god and say why didn't you choose me you are unjust no one if we have been called with Jemba here to and say God has given us the anointing that we are going to be the latter, the, 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 the latter day what the, the people who are going to be shakers and movers on the last day, and then I walk in it and Jemba doesn't walk in it, Jemba, Jemba will not reach heaven and say that God watch you once or so. I've asked you a question that Elisha, Elisha was succeeded or as the successor, or he went into the replaced Elijah. But then I asked you that, do you know that Elisha was not the first servant of Elijah? Elisha was, El Elijah actually had another servant who most probably did more work even than Elisha. Do you remember the guy who he sent to, to, to Mount Carmel to ask Gandhi check when he was praying, when he had told Ahab that it's going to rain? Go and check whether it's, uh, then he came back and said there is nothing. Then Elijah prayed, said, Go and check. Seven times the, the guy was running up and down until he finally came that there was there's a crowd, there's a crowd as small as a man's hand. Do you remember that guy? Yes. That, was, that was Elijah's servant. Where did he go? What happened to him? How come he did not get Elijah's anointing? How El Elisha And Elisha ends up taking the anointing. What happened to the, other, to the other guy? No, wait. The Bible tells us that in that time there was a school of prophets. A school of... So Elisha, in fact... Listen, guys, it is very sad. Elisha was not even in the school of prophets. Elijah did not find Elisha in the, in the class of prophets. No, Elijah found Elisha in the farm with oxen. Why was none of the, of the prophets in the school of prophets chosen to, 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 take, to take Elijah's place? Why do we even tweet to Alangev Yokusaga, Ninga Sibi Yokusaga? And some things that may seem very light in our eyes are very serious in the eyes of God. Do, do, does it, did it ever occur to you that the Bible says, you read it in, the, in First Kings, did it ever occur to you that the, the, the people in the school of prophets are the ones who even told Elisha, they knew they were prophets, they, they knew that Elijah was being taken away, but to them it was Elijah, they came and told Elisha, do you know that your master will be taken away today? You've read the story. They asked him, they knew. But to them, Elijah being taken away was just uh, and, uh, any other ordinary day. Elijah is going to be taken away. Tunalaba gwebalonda, praise the Lord. Katuinde tulabechi. When Elisha got to know that Elijah is going, for him he said that sikuvaku. Hallelujah. So you find that at certain points, certain God creates a certain window for you to enter into a certain, to do something that, can pro, that will propel you into. What you two language that is serious, I can tell you, it's not that you were not called, but you, you were not chosen. There are times, there are times, there are times that I come here. The times that I come here and the Lord lays. Now like what happened? Guys, let me tell you. Those of you that were here on, on Friday. And, and guys, it's not... See, 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 I'm not exaggerating. We've had, we, we have prayer services every Friday. But or, not every Sunday that I come and tell you about a prayer service. So what the, Lord, what the Lord had us do on Friday was special. It was special. And it's not... Well, I can't say it's not the Lord may, but as far as I know, it's, it's not, it's, it can't happen. And you can't even tell me to do it again. So it is those who are there that even know what happened. The rest of you are saying, what happened? Praise the Lord. The, the rest of you are saying, hey, hey. <laughs> <coughs> Praise the 
Praise the Lord. So you find that <coughs> many are called, but few are what? Are chosen. Who, who determines who is chosen and who is chosen? Listen, God is a just God. He, he will give the opportunity to everyone. Every one of you will have opportunity. What you do with the opportunity? Yes, I mean, yes. Yes, yes. Hey, hey, walala, walala, Tina, we are going, Pastor Jeho we are we have evangelism. How many of you want to join? Please join. Nachu Soruzung, Nakadamumu, Nate Kamugundi, de 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 de. But do you know what is do you know what exactly is happening? Guys, the Bible records a story in the book of Acts. Is it chapter 16 or 19? You will find it. <coughs> Where the Bible says Paul was in fact, let's read it. Paul was moving. Paul was moving from, <clears throat> okay, because of, but let's read it. Okay, let me just tell you. You will find it. Paul was moving <clears throat> from uh, wherever he was moving. Then the Holy Spirit forbade him. The Holy Spirit refused him to preach in Asia. All right. Then he did, because he was going to Asia to preach. The Holy Spirit refused him. Then he he he, he decided to go to another place. I forget was it another place then the holy spirit forbade him but and then the bible says that in one of the nights he had a vision now by the way when the bible says vision of the night eh, it is usually a dream eh? praise the lord Amen. the vision of the night eh, it is usually a dream so anyway the bible says that in the night he had a vision and in the vision remember the holy spirit has forbidden him to preach in in in, in asia and some other place that are forgotten and then in the vision Okay, actually, now let's read it since it is here. It's Acts 16. Now, when they had gone through, throughout, hallelujah, Amen. when they had gone throughout Phrygia and the region of Galatia, praise the Lord, Amen. yeah, <laughs> and were forbidden of the, of the Holy Ghost to preach the word in Asia, they were forbidden of what? So it's important that you listen to the Holy Ghost. Uh, they said go into the all the world, hallelujah. They said go where? Isn't Asia part of the world? Praise the Lord. He forbade them to preach in what? In Asia. All right, I'll uh, continue. <clears throat> After they were come to my Mysia, hallelujah. They were come to where? <laughs> hallelujah. They are said to go into Bithynia. Someone say Bithynia. Bithynia. Yeah, you become preachers of the gospel. <laughs> but the spirit suffered them not. The spirit suffered them not. Again, the spirit suffered them what? No. Not. Continue. <clears throat> Verse 8. As they, as, as they, as they passing by Mysia came down to Troas. Why am I being tormented like this? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, never took over about to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But to say, but to say, verse 19, can't we wait there? Uh-huh. Listen, listen to this. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. All right? There stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. Paul saw a vision in the night, and the man of Macedonia was telling them, Come to Macedonia. All right? What happens next? Give me verse 10. <clears throat> and after he had seen the vision, immediately we endeavored to go into Macedonia, assuredly gathering that the Lord has called us for to preach the gospel unto them. So the Holy Spirit forbade them. We don't know how this Holy Spirit forbade them. But here the Bible is telling us that when Paul saw a vision in the night that, and the man from Macedonia was calling them that Mujemu Tuyambe, they gathered that the Lord wanted them to go and preach the gospel there and immediately they set off for Macedonia. Glory to God. Amen. Now you see, right now, in retrospect, especially in the city of the city of yeah, of course now they had to go. But when you get a vision in the night, and the man is calling you. Why, why wouldn't you go? Isn't it very obvious that God is calling you? Isn't it obvious? Tell your neighbor, it is obvious now. Eh? Yeah. It is very obvious that God, God has called you. If he hadn't gone to Andy Paul, he would have disappointed us. <laughs> NASA had 
a vision in the night. Someone say a vision in the night. When I tell you he dreamt Mujagamba, I nange and daughter. Praise the Lord. He had a vision in the night. Praise the Lord. And in the vision in the night, Pastor Jeho was telling him that come and we go do evangelism around this place. By it over town. If I've gone somewhere, you correct me. If I've, if, I've, if I've got something wrong, you correct me. Because both Paul is here and the man of Macedonia is here. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So in, 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 our, in our scenario, uh, Nasa was Paul. He's the one who got the vision in the night. Praise the Lord. And the man of Macedonia was Pastor Jeho. Because it is Pastor Jeho who came to him and told him that, why don't you come and we go preach the what? The gospel. Now, apparently... Nasa comes to Pastor Jeho to tell him the dream he had. Then when he told Pastor Jeho, he's like, Banange, Mukama Nyangu is a chintu. Oh, where did Njagara Kugamba the same thing? The Lord had laid it on my heart. Ngane, umayu, simanyi Pastor Jeho, but ya Nasa, praise the Lord. Well, walo katonda wa gambe, okole chinu gamba, ha, Mukama Njagara chika ne wa mutandi kanti ya. Praise the Lord. No gamba, no gamba, no gamba, no mutandi kanti ya. No gamba, jemba, madeni na chengamba. Mpozo kuwata liyewa? Lia bomborode? Eh, kata unobiva wako no gamba haka nchu se topi ki. Motu kaze nziwa kufuna nwe na kuzino. Motu kaze, ah, tu otu ka, topi kuno jichu si zao. Nenga mbotu choba doya kero muga manti, mkama atuga, mkama ya ngambi nti. Tugende tukolechi? Tuhulire njiri, tuhulire njiri kubomborode, praise the Lord. I'm the man of Macedonia. Eh? <laughs> I'm just preaching. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so you get. So anyway, Pastor Jeho had for some time been wanting to tell Nasa that we need to preach the gospel around this area, and then Nasa had that same dream when Pastor Jeho. Hallelujah. Now, now you see, right now, for us, it is a, just a funny story. Paul did not take it that lightly. That no, what was the conclusion they had? They said, gathering that the Lord had called us for to preach the gospel unto them. So right now, we gather, ladies and gentlemen, we gather that the Lord has instructed us to preach the gospel in this area. So katumula pasaje honga wandika guys if you want to join the list not only like this no gamba eh no 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 kana me kogera ku list kana me kogera ku list banaye but then after a while you will wonder why you have not been chosen for certain assignments and other people have been chosen and then we start wondering, wasn't want there are many people in divine life at that time? Why is it that these people are such and such and these people are such and such? Many are called, few are chosen. But God is a just judge. The opportunity is given to all. Glory to God. The opportunity is given to what? All. To all. So don't be there say, saying that what? I even don't feel it. You feel it. Who told you it's about feeling? Guys, let me tell you. How many of you have ever felt? How many of you go to work? Let me say go to work or go to school. How many of you have ever woken up and you don't feel like going to work? If you've never met, it has happened to me. Praise the Lord. I know when panic and I move now confidence. Wanika, praise the Lord. Yeah, it 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 has happened to me many. It happened to me many times when Azuka and Pulida Sagara, Nayinga and Chimani, no member, I as in Azuka Sagara, as in I 
I didn't want to get out of bed. But I, I got out of bed not wanting. Praise the Lord. And for some reason, it was very cold. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Praise the Lord. Chavam Muga Mantianza, all steps in Nandi will say, Praise the Lord. Until we go walk over, now from Yanga Saga, praise the Lord. Chinavi Rachel, praise the Lord. Show him, show him, wait, wait. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. The H. Chokat can skip in the praise the Lord, hallelujah. <laughs> it has nothing to do with whether you want it or not guys some of these things let me tell you let me tell you the deception the deception that has kept many people in places that they should not be in the deception is that you have to be motivated and feeling like and drawn and energized to do what you have to do no some things that god is going to require you to do you're going to have to do them when you don't feel like doing them when you're not you, when you're not even feeling motivated the shortcoming of motivation is that motivation gets you excited to do something. But in most, never rely on motivation to do something that is long term. Why? Because motivation runs out very quickly. Now, you know, you know, guys, you know what, guys, you know what, 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 even right now I've preached and I've told you about the man of Macedonia. Some of you are feeling like I'm going to go up in the man of Macedonia. Glory to God. I have to be chosen. How can I be called and not chosen? Hey, the excitement, what, what, two hours from now, a Jacob is going down. Two hours from now, a Jacob is going a man of Macedonia, which chapter it is in the Bible. <laughs> So what keeps you going? What keeps you going is called discipline, commitment and discipline. No government in Sazeongenda Chikola. Whether I feel like it or not, I'm going to do it. Whether guys, let me tell you. Nasala, I'm a minister of the gospel. Whether I feel like it, I, I have to come here and preach the gospel. I have to come here and preach. Ne wemba mpuri ya saga, ne wemba mpuri ya, ne wensango wa boda boda na nyiza na nkona ansa muriza mazine nkona chi, nja nja gesa mula kwa tinzijembu ujire njiri. Some of you wabodja wa boda boda na kusamuri ya mazi kungatongo chuso dayeka. Ne muka maachiraba, ingato yange vajidize ya loru ya... Kalimba denge nda nakuchachi. Kati nzira yo waka. So don't be caught in the deception of I don't feel like it. Sometimes, listen, guys, listen, the, 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 the deception, and, and I'm a preacher of the grace of God. Praise the Lord. Eh? I, I'm, a teacher, I'm a teacher of the grace of God, and I'm a teacher of 100% total dependence on the grace of God. But the misconception is this. <clears throat> Do I have time? The misconception is that the grace of God will come and Move you. Praise the Lord. Say the grace of God will come. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ah. The grace is available and the grace is sufficient. Someone say the grace is sufficient. Sakalaba sakalaba. Say sakalaba sakalaba. The grace of God is going to you even don't want the grace of God will just come and hallelujah, glory to God. Hey, the grace of God to preach. Hallelujah, glory to God. And then the grace of God will, will, will make you work. The grace of God is making me do. It is not going to happen like that. Listen, God works in you. Fantastic. You have a responsibility to follow through with what he is working in you. Are you still there? 
The misconception is we read the, the verse which says that it is God who works in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure. And then we think that, okay, it is God who works in us to do and to will. That means if I don't do, that means God didn't work it in me. Lord, you are, you're the one who works in me. So you, if I didn't do it, you didn't work it in me. Listen. Listen to me and listen very carefully. It does not work like that. Let me show you how it works. Let me show you how it works. Give me Colossians 1.29. Let me show you how it works. In Colossians chapter number one, eh, it says, eh, Paul says, so King James, okay, this is King James. Whereunto I also labor, someone say labor. labor. Whereunto I also labor, striving, striving, someone, say, do you know what striving is? Striving, okufuwa, according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. You see this, eh? He's saying that his working worketh in him mightily. But then he says that when his working worketh in him mightily, then he strives and labors according to that working that is working in him mightily. That is why he has the results that he has. Why? He's not the initiator of this thing. God works it in him. Then he strives and labors according to what God, according to what God is doing in him. That's why I work and struggle so hard, depending on Christ's power that works in me. Now, some people think that because Christ's power is working in you, you're not going to struggle. Guys, this, these are scriptures. This is not me. Eh? Are we together? Some people think that when Christ's power is working in you, you do not have to do anything. Christ's power will work in you. Some of you are even seeing yourself, you're, 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 the, the churches you're starting, praise the Lord, in your minds. Eh? You're, you're, you have thousands of people, you're, 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 the, you're, you're the TDJs, glory to God. Where are the TDJs? Hey, hallelujah, and then the mighty God of war, the mighty God is coming out on your behalf. Where about Anga? Yeah, go yamba dem par. You know, in Paris, in Paris, that is Jacks. Go yamba. Yeah, hey. Atiroko be ane kata uro praise the Lord. And the mighty power of God is working in you. And hey, tell your neighbor. Hey, 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 hey. But all you're hoping to do is that the mighty power of God will work it in you. You're not doing any work of ministry, but somehow you're assuming that you'll wake up one day and we will be before thousands, before thousands of people. <laughs> Guess what? Let me bust your bubble. It's not going to happen. God is sending to you a man of Macedonia to go and preach to one, two people, to go and preach to a small area like this. You don't want to go. But somehow you see yourself standing before millions of people performing great and mighty miracles like the great and mighty Benihin. I give you praise. <laughs> I just sometimes, sometimes I'm you, sir. I'm going to the Jacks. I'm going to the Jacks. <laughs> the Spirit of God. No, 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 Multiple sclerosis to my left. I give you praise. Multiple sclerosis. Rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis. No, no. In your bedroom at night, receive it in Jesus' name. No, 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 Praise no, no, Guys, guys, fantastic. It is okay. It is okay. All that stuff. In fact, guys, eh, let me tell you, if you have such dreams, eh, it is good. It is good. That is one of the signs that actually God is working in you. That, that is one of the signs that God is actually working something in you. But if you do not struggle to work hard 
according to this power. Now, there's a difference. You see, when you use the, the word struggle to work hard, some people just say, ah, ah, what? For us, we are not struggle. We are struggle free. What? By struggling and work hard, I'm not, I'm not saying you're working in your effort. You see, the difference here is that Omuntu Arimu effort yenga, there is no power working in him. Eh? They will struggle and work hard and it will be tedious and they will not achieve anything. But the point I'm trying to say is that even when the power of God is working in you, you're going to do things you don't feel like doing. You're going to do things that will not seem like they'll work out. You're going to do things that you're going to work against the odds. You're going to call people to go to evangelism and the least kuja kwa kala and tuwa pasaja oto guamu amani. Oga mentu mukama na enze goa yisedda la mchiloto wala bienzo. Ojo oizo kude wana sano gama na wala bienzo wala bienjemba. Ngambutufu wala bie gwe. Ngambutufu wala bie gwe. Na enga kalisio kawandi sano gamba bane mujetu kule evangelism. The Lord has sent us here. The Lord has sent us kulisi no meiza ngamuli kaba. Basatu. Paul himself and the man of Macedonia. No more alumu. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Glory to God. So some of these things, some of these things, when the Bible says that many are called and few are chosen, it is not, make no mistake, it is not random. The people that you admire in the gospel, the people that you admire in the gospel, it is because they yielded themselves to do certain things that other people refused. That, that's the plain truth. That's the plain truth. They yielded themselves. And when I say they yielded themselves, it is not that it was always rosy. Sometimes true about that we only see what we want to see at the pulpit. Mula Pastor Magzinga, I mean done. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's a mighty God. Someone say mighty God. He's a wonderful God. Someone say wonderful God. He takes you from the Mary clay and sets your feet upon the rock. Glory to God. No government. No government. No government. <laughs> Glory to God. Not a man to Pastor Magzi, I would be into in a congregation in Yamuntuag. Nengas are so dirty for Chichitus about Chikum. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I will say, yes, Simonia, Kumania, Samonia, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me, let me close it like this. Don't be... You know, there are some sa, certain scriptures that are, that are fulfilling. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise the Lord. 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 So, there are some scriptures that have to be fulfilled. But you choose on which end of the scripture you want to be. The truth of the matter is that more people are called than are chosen. Many are called, few are what? Chosen. That is the reality. But you can choose to be among those that will be chosen. Glory to God. But the criteria is there, like I told you, it's not random. God is not just going to wake up at some on a moment. He's it's again he's not canemu canabi kafumba many katakum kumala fumbucha the jo kamale kumi was eh five. No 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 no. So you, you can actually do certain things that put you in a place where you'll be among the chosen ones. Or you can do certain things that will automatically disqualify you from the chosen. Are you still there? Are you still there? Yes. So, you can choose. There are certain, like I told you, there are certain scriptures. Some people, someone was asking me that, you know, eh, hey, God is unfair. He, eh, hey, hey. So the people, the people, you see, he said, even Jesus said, the poor will always be with us. So, cut the poor, well, how, do you, how do you even start praying to God when he said the poor will always be there? Yeah, it is true. Jesus said the poor will always be with us. But it is a choice to be among them. You don't have to be among them. Why? Because the criteria to get out of poverty is clearly there. Likewise, the criteria to be among the chosen is clearly there. 
and it is not by it is not by saying it in Z, because you're not the one who chooses praise the lord eh? it is not by saying me lord you choose me choose me choose me lord choose me no they will send you a man of macedonia having been forbidden to preach in asia and in Mysia, praise the lord and then they will send a man from macedonia in the vision of a night and god will watch how you respond glory to god Amen. glory to god Amen. and then you start saying uh, shepherd of my soul i give you full control wherever you may lead i will follow i have made a choice to listen to your voice wherever you may lead i will go be it in the or in the I the shepherd of my soul is by my side. No you know some of those things, some of the songs, eh? Some of the songs are so revealing. Praise the Lord. Some of those songs, eh? and they they are they just feel good songs. They're just what? Feel good songs. Until wherever you lead, I will go. Until Sazer, all you say, I have made a choice to listen to your voice. I'm going, hey, you've made a choice. You've made a choice. Man of Macedonia. Glory to God. Man of what? Man of Macedonia. Not Uncle Gamba, Nemo Kama. Ah. But no, uh, that is where you remember Pastor Max's sermon. Not all the not all dreams are from God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, 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 Pastor Max said not all dreams are from God. Praise the Lord. Uh, and not all dreams are from God, it is true. Where he has read you is eh? not true. Because some when you are saying wherever you may read, go Olaba T DJ Express the Lord. Nga is reading you to the pulpit. Hallelujah. Uh, I will follow. I will follow in the presence of the Lord. I will follow in the presence of the Lord. Pastor's job. You want me to do pastor? Some, some of you, it's interesting. And I'm closing, praise the Lord. It's interesting, some of you, some of you think we are idle. Praise the Lord. Some of you actually think eh, that what I do is just the Sunday sermon. Praise the Lord. So you be there, Katine, pastor, that a week you know, call it. As in, uh, you, 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 you try to put yourself in my shoes, eh? and you're like, okay, okay, uh -huh, Kati, Sunday, Sunday service, eh, until next Sunday, what is he going to do, really? Eh? And in fact, you are too gamble, Eh, past, 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 akolachi. Nene past, akolachi na vude ogende yo. Ogenda yo. Past, ali aido eh. Na, ele na vude cho genda ku past, ali aido. Eh, mas, kale tude ku Macedonia. Tude ye Macedonia. Guys, let me tell you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm closing this by, by encouraging you. Yeah? <clears throat> when the work of ministry comes calling. Yeah? Kindly, do yourself let me let me say it like that because sometimes you may think you're doing the pastor a favor do yourself a favor and be involved do yourself a favor and, and be what and be involved do yourself a big 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 favor and be involved why <clears throat> because some of these things eh, are irreversible you know there are some things that you didn't do when you were young eh? You're, you're now trying to catch up. You're playing catch up because you didn't do certain things at a younger age. A time is good, but, but the things we're talking about, the spiritual ones, a time is going to come when there will be no catch up. Do you know that even in heaven we are not going to be equal? Praise the Lord. Do, do you know that even in heaven we are not going to be equal? 
someone is saying, yeah, we are all created in God's image. Yes, we are all created in God's image. But heaven is very organized and there are hierarchies. That is why we have what we call archangels. An archangel, not every angel is an archangel. Praise the Lord. So the fact that they are archangels, that means that they are angels that are above other angels. So there are hierarchies in heaven. And that is why they are thrones. Glory to God. Amen. And the Bible talks about different, different kinds of thrones. But guess what? Kasto yingire guru wot. Yeah? Nga, 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 nga throne yo baji kola musubi. Teri kuchusa. Kakati muja, muja, muja ba, you know, I, I just need to use Okuloza. Give me first Corinthians chapter number three. Nizo Kugira Kusumi Nemuloza and Tinsaga. First Corinthians chapter number three. Uh, yonge wasembe yo. Every man's work will be tried. <coughs> the Bible says that every man's, the, Jesus being the foundation, but every, uh, and we, we all build on that foundation, but every man's work will be tried even as by what? Fire. So if your works are of what? Are of straw. It's not that you are Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work for what sort it is. Continue. If a man's work abide, which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. In other words, it will be tried by fire. If your work survives the fire, you will receive a what? This means if your work does not survive the fire, you receive no what? Reward. Continue. Cry what kind of work? If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved. So could they, what were we describing the work? Is that before? Before, before. Verse number 13, 14, yeah. For the kinds of work. How you build on the foundation. Every man work shall be made, the verse before. Uh-huh. Now, okay, let's begin from 11 and we get into this. About that. For, for other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is the what? Is the foundation. So all of everything we do, we are building on that foundation. There will be no other foundation. So in, in f the fact that you're building on this foundation means that you're actually in Christ. You are born again. Because one who is not on, in Christ cannot build on this foundation. So we're talking about people who are born again. Glory to God. Verse 12. If any man build upon this foundation gold, sil someone say gold. gold. Silver, Silver. Precious stone. Precious wood. wood. Hay. Hay. Stubble. Hey, 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 this is a good mood. I'm embarrassed to go there. Subi. Ningo, you could foundation of Zimba. Oluk foundation of Kolachi. O Zimba. Ningo, Zimbi, sa Subi. The way they are put, I don't know what stubble is, but I think no, that it is even worse than he. Pass Palam. <laughs> Glory to God. So these are the kinds, and then, the, the, then it is from this that verse 13 says that the work will be tried by what? F by fire. If your work remains, then you will get a reward. So of all these things, what will remain when it goes through fire? Will gold, re gold remain? Will silver remain? Will precious stone remain? Will wood remain? Will wood remain? Stop it at a Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, the things that we are telling you to do here, tuwanga wabe sibako, ne tuwala, neba nai, mugenda tuka mugulwe yogamenti musumbe biyange biya guawo. Ba, 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 walue bintu, walue bintu, walue bintu, mudilo, ngo sabili ya bide meku guawo. For example, if your work is wood, o inzo kusawono ga mkama, mkama testi, mkama manti, mkama tubite kamu for five minutes, eh? Geno kranti, two minutes nga wakatuwa lako kuota. After three minutes, half has, half has gone. Nuga mga mdachi ike bili isiga yu na wako chen siga zao. Na wako chen siga zao. Mwriyo kuge no kugwa yungo siga zao. Kano kapati ya kase embera yu dala. Praise the Lord. Kakati gwe wabango inasubi. Praise the Lord. Mudachi ike soka wa iteka. Nga omanyi suwi nga terina gwa mwriyo. Lita ndi koku waka nga terina gwa na mwriyo. Nga, nga uliri mubanga liguwa yao. By the time it reaches, nga it is finished. 
So kapitu, binoviembe siwako, binoviembe siwako, nasa side pastor jeho. Nasa side pastor jeho. Bambi guwala vye mchiroto, praise the Lord. Guwala vye mchiroto. Ye man of Macedonia. So, and, and, and I want you to notice that the, the Bible doesn't say that when the man of Macedonia appeared to Paul, the, 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 the conclusion was not that God has sent Paul to Macedonia. The guy who was writing was Luke. But he said that we gathered that the Lord had want, wanted us to go there. Luke, tell him, whatever. So, to come and say, ah, Praise the Lord. No. So, when they see Pastor Jeho, he is a representation of all of us. So, we gather that the Lord has called us to preach the gospel in this area. So, Kati, you see the, the disadvantage of a group is that you think others are reading it and yet it is actually meant for in fact passage to gende tukale what tukaweza mu inbox ya buli muntu praise the lord such buli mwaka funa buli mwate gerent it is meant for me because when you're reading it on a group eh, somehow you get this idea that eh bakawereza abantu bakawereza abantu chibakawereza gwe bakawereza gwe praise the lord so let me add my voice right now as I conclude. I swear now I'm concluding. Let me add my voice to that of the man in Macedonia. The man of Macedonia. <laughs> Guys, we are going to preach the gospel in this area. And uh, fantastic. God opened doors that would have, never, would have never opened if we hadn't gone there. Glory to God. Yeah? And now God is calling. It is still, listen, Najira Bienga, it is similar. The same people who are going to Narumunia, the one going to Macedonia. Then after, people will start saying, How, why is it that Paul is the one who wrote three quarters of the New Testament? But wherever, whenever God was calling, I again, praise what did you want? What did you want? Few are chosen. Glory to God. Whenever the call comes, you have it already. You have it already again. And then people start running. But why is it that God, what did did did? Wa la 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 wo lo lo lo. So I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, please go back to the WhatsApp group. If you are not on WhatsApp, there is a WhatsApp. Kati, can't you can't you ask me? We are going to preach the gospel in this area. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And what is required is just for you to be willing. Pastor, I don't feel like it. No one feels like it. Praise the Lord. Na na nangu you if you saying if it was fulfilling nandi bade ku beach olwa lero na kati beach enyuma ku Sunday. Praise the Lord. So if it senga bya feeling nandi bade mu Rio de Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So pastor, I feel like it. That's your sin song. Pastor, I don't know how to do it. Jango yige. The way you, the way you do it, the way you learn is by doing it. You there is no theory. You can read all the books you want. It is, it's like swimming. I, uh, once I demonstrated in, for people in church, who knows how to swim? You know how to swim. How do they swim? Simply. Freestyle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you, do, you do like this. And, and do your legs. Someone do, someone do your hands like this. Uh -huh. And then you do your legs how? And then you do your hands like this. That is how they do what? That is how they swim. So do you know how to swim just because we've told you wh what they do? No. You learn to swim by doing what? Swimming. You get in the water and that is when you realize that it is not... When you do like this, it is easier to do it in air than in the water. Praise the Lord. <laughs> You learn to swim. So, pastor, I don't know how to do those things of evangelism. Come and learn. Pastor, see, feed a yo. No one has died from doing it. At least, okay, in some areas, but not here. Not in this area in our times. Praise the Lord. Pastor Joe has been doing it. I have been doing it. And I'm still around preaching the gospel. So, you will not die. Is it going to be easy? I can't guarantee that. Is it going to be fulfilling? I can guarantee that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is it going to be easy? I can't guarantee. Is it going to be fulfilling? That I can guarantee. Amen. There is nothing that is as fulfilling as doing what the will of God. Nothing. Not, not money, not nothing. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So today, 
I want us to make a choice. I want us to make a choice. That when God calls, no, there's another song that we used to, where you say, when he calls me, I will... Sing it, Murimi, stand up to your feet, stand up to me. When he calls... We are finishing, stand up, Murimi. I'll be somewhere working for my Lord. To cut them, to cut them, to cut them, to cut them, Praise the Lord, hallelujah. When, when he calls, I will do what? When he calls, I will answer. Now, I want you to sing that, ladies and gentlemen. Because trust me, he's going to call. He's going to do what? He's going to call. So, only if you mean it, you sing it. I don't want you to sing. When, when you call me, he will answer. When, no, 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 no. I want us to sing it. Glory to God. Then, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say when he calls me because we know who it is. Praise the Lord. So let, I want us to tell him that when you call me, I will answer. Guys, now you're not talking to Pastor Magzi. You're talking to who? So all the katemba, all the humor, all the what, let it first go aside. Because you don't want to pledge things that you will not do and fulfill to God. Praise the Lord. So if you, if you, if you want to be among those that will answer when he calls, then let us tell him that when he calls, we shall answer. Glory to God. When you call me, I will answer. When you call me, I will answer. When you call me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere walking for my Lord. Just to sing it one more time softly from your heart from deep down in your heart saying when you call me I will answer when you call me I will answer I may not feel like it but I will answer it may seem difficult 
but I will answer. I may feel constrained, but I will answer. Lord, when you call me, I will answer. I want us to sing it one more time softly, but let it come from your heart. I don't want the instruments to overshadow the voices because I'm more interested in the people's voices right now. Glory to God. I want you to hear yourself saying the words that you're saying. It's a pledge to God that when he calls, you will answer. Let's sing it. that when you call we will answer when you call we will answer when you call we will answer glory to God hallelujah glory to God thank you Jesus glory to God father in the name of Jesus we thank you and bless you we bless you for today and must even as we go out we go out this week in the power of the Holy Spirit Lord, you say that we shall receive power when the Spirit of God comes upon us. We go out into this week under the power and unction of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare upon you right now. If you believe what I'm saying, you say amen. Agree, agreeing is very simple and it's the key. Praise the Lord. So don't just be there saying, Pastor, you get angry. Just agree by saying amen glory to god this week is going to be your best week ever in jesus name you are going to encounter great things this week your hands are going to receive great things this week your hands are going to achieve great things this week in the name of the lord jesus you're going to get extraordinary wisdom you're going to ideas that you have never had before are going to come your way in the name of the lord jesus wisdom that is going to get you out of out of troubled situations in the name of the lord jesus Jesus. It's like a light bulb is going to come on and you will know what to do and how to do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now I pray for you in Jesus mighty name that you will have all the resources that you need this week. Not only for your good life but even to help those around you in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will be a blessing. You will be a blessing. You will be a blessing to many in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord expands your sphere of influence in Jesus mighty name. The people that you touch and influence are 
going to increase. Men will come to you for solutions because you are the one that bears the solution that they need. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you are the head and not the tail. You are above only and never beneath. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you are blessed in the morning, blessed in the noon time, blessed in the evening. In the name of Jesus, blessed in the country, blessed in the city, blessed wherever you go. In Jesus' mighty name, you will speak the oracles of God. The Lord will speak through you this week. When you speak, the Lord has spoken. The Lord will touch through you. When you touch, the Lord has touched. In Jesus' mighty name, you will dispense the glory of God. Wherever you go, people will know that you carry the glory of God with you. And they will ask you, who is the God that you serve? And you say, the living God. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Pastor Maxi. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I, I send you forth to dominate and to succeed in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Don't forget to catch a snack and talk to somebody. Otherwise, let's share the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost is with us all now and forever. Amen and amen. Glory to God.